This is uh, one of the best made little folding stools I've seen, so it must be old. But see this little groove right here? There is right there, whoops, right there is a metal rod that runs across where the seat is attached. It's like a director's chair kind of, only it's just attached on this outside edge, but they've got a groove in there and they've hemmed the fabric and then they've run this little tiny rod through there to fit in that groove. So that's what we need to recreate. Once you get those U-nails pulled out of there that hold the rods in, you can slide the rods out and set them to the side. They're going to be reused with the new seat covering that we're going to sew. So I just laid out the fabric seat on top of the new fabric I'm going to use, but I doubled it up because the new fabric is a little bit lighter weight and I'm going to use a double thickness of it to make sure that those camp stools are secure. So I designed this just a little bit differently than the original cover. I just folded that fabric in half. I cut it evenly with the rotary cutter and I'm going to do one seam down the short end and then I'll be turning it inside out and using it that way because I did not have a thick enough fabric. This is really straightforward. I just stitched the end at about not even a half inch across there and then I turned it right side out pressed it and stitched down both long sides just to close in that loop so I had one solid piece of fabric. Also, I, I should back up a second. Before I closed in those two sides, I went ahead and stitched across both ends creating little tiny channels that I could thread that rod through. So that's something I did before I stitched down the long sides of the fabric. So then I just threaded the rod through there and I saw that it was a little bit bent and I tried to straighten it out. Now remember, it's going to fit inside of that groove so it's not going to be bent when you sit on it. It's secure inside of the groove. So here was the tricky part. It was getting these little U-shaped brads, pins, nails, I'm not sure what they called them from Lowe's, but to get those to be centered on top of that rod and get it pounded in tightly on top of the rod into the groove was a little bit tedious. But I used the needle nose pliers to hold it while I pounded it in because the nails bent kind of easily. 